sounds good. We, we haven't heard of any other TSAs uh, being proactive. Um, yeah, no, there's, there's a, a group of, I believe there's, I've had contact with a group up in Paris that's trying to look at some adaptation strategies related to sort of building resiliency in some of their ecosystems. Um, and like I said, with this framework, I've tried to touch in, in different areas of the province and, and trying to provide, because this is, this is a simple one. This is where we can at least start the conversation and here's some key areas where we might be able to see change immediately. And, and so that's why this, this is sort of the discussion point, is this is, this is a, a good way to start, or at least a good starting point. And, and, and hopefully that, that's the tie to seed planning, because that's, that's where it all starts. And mm -hmm. have seed in your inventory that's uh, not going to make muster in 30 years, well, then you need to start planning on uh, finding alternate sources, and that is from the previous slide, that's where the difficulty lies, is people have it, but they, they may not want to sell it to you, so you have to start developing your own sources, try using it, and uh, have to be, uh, you have to be proactive, because there's all kinds of rules out there that you know, Nathan yeah. used earlier, all these ties to uh, future timber supply that are all predicated on our practices. And you almost have to break the bond or break the chain to move forward. I mean, the resistance against uh, bringing seed up from TOA up into Big Bar is uh, pretty intense because you're crossing all the, the orchard rules, all the provenance rules, and all the uh, seed transfer rules. Well, at the time, all the seed transfer rules. They've been they've been ameliorated since, but that's that's 